update number two. So we started off doing some of the fabrication bits. We decided to clock the turbo, um, which essentially means rotating the compressor housing. Um, this turbocharger is actually a little bit difficult to do that with because there's a small pin in the compressor housing located right there. You just removed it and then you're able to rotate it. So how this is gonna work. So we're gonna get this housing back on like that. I secured this big snap ring. And then what we've done is we've used a Turbo Smart actuator. Don't mind the tape. It's the part number there if you want it. And the clevis pin part number that you need is that one. And then what we did is we took the the pin out of the original actuator, installed it in here, fuse weld it onto there. We set the whole thing up, built this nice little bracket. It's gonna mount on here with some fasteners. Oh, actually, we gotta put this in there first. Take this guy off. This unscrews so you could preload your wastegate if you'd like to. Basically what we did is, is we took the pattern there, um, made a little ring here with the same pattern. All right, so that is going to go goes that way on there. Let's put some nuts on there to hold on. I'm just going to put one just so we can mark it up nicely. I'm not going to put the clevis on either, so we can get an idea of what we're doing. And we need some nuts and bolts here. We're going to bolt this up in the back here. Just like that. This bracket, I actually started working on this kit to help people clock their turbos because it's a really silly um, way to set this up stock right so just imagine that brackets in the right place I'll get some I'll put it together and put a clip in after but um, that's essentially gonna be like that and the actuator should work just fine with the rod and you can see you have a slightly more favorable output from the turbo we'll just weld on a 90 degree or something to head the charge pipe down that way and um, yeah, it'll work a lot better. We have a brand new wastegate, so no more relying on a 20 year old OEM product. And I'll cut to a clip where it's installed. Nice one. <clears throat> yeah, so if you see, you can go under the car and you take a look under here. Oh. You see the where the outlet of the turbo is pointing, so it gives us a lot shorter routing for the intercooler, right? <clears throat> so usually you have the outlet coming this way, and you have to do this big loop-de-loop -loop around, which really slows the air down, causes it to do a lot of work. Whereas now it's just pointing out, it's going to be a nice short hose into this side of the intercooler, which will be perfect. And then we've got our fancy bracket all finished up too. And this <clears throat> overflow bottle is probably going to end up somewhere here, maybe. You know, we'll see where we have room. Nice little cap from Vibrant, and that'll catch the overflow out of the radiator. And then we got the big intake pipe to go on there as well, somewhere there. Get some fresh air from this opening on the side properly. All right, so there you go, now it's installed. Right. More or less, for the viewing purpose. 